an anemic effort from ineffectual deity. Today, I become the Elder God. Welcome everyone to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Mortal Kombat and Warner Brothers Interactive in general and where it could potentially be landing. Because as we all know, AT&T has shown interest in selling Warner Brothers Interactive, which is the gaming division of Warner Brothers. And so a couple companies have already shown some interest like EA, Blizzard, and Activision. Those are a few of the companies that have shown interest in purchasing it. And if they were to do that, they would acquire a couple IPs like Batman Arkham, Injustice, Mortal Kombat, and even that upcoming Harry Potter game that everybody is talking about. So those are some big name IPs that, you know, one of these studios could acquire if they purchase WB Interactive. Well, recent reports have come out that another company has started to show some interest in potentially purchasing WB Interactive, and that company is none other than Microsoft. Now, the big difference between Microsoft and the other three companies is unlike EA, Blizzard, and Activision is that Microsoft is a first party developer. So if they go and buy WB Interactive, then all those IPs I just mentioned would pretty much become Microsoft's exclusive titles to Xbox. So Injustice, Mortal Kombat, Arkham, all those you know games become exclusives to Xbox or on Xbox and if you're a PlayStation player or a Nintendo player it's pretty much gone for you unless you get an Xbox and that's really unfortunate because someone like me I'm a PlayStation and I'm a Nintendo player I don't really play on Xbox and Mortal Kombat is one of my favorite gaming franchises so if it was to all of a sudden become a Xbox exclu exclusive that would be extremely unfortunate and I would hate that very much so because Mortal Kombat has always been a multi-platform game since it came to consoles in like 1993 or something like that. I think it came on, you know, it was on, you know, consoles like the Sega Saturn and the Super Nintendo. And then it's been on every PlayStation console, every Xbox console, and I think even every Nintendo console except for, you know, I think it's even been on every Nintendo console because I think even the Wii had at least one. I know Armageddon was on the Wii. So yeah, even Nintendo has had at least one Mortal Kombat game. So it's been multi-platform forever. And so I would really hate to see Mortal Kombat become an Xbox exclusive. And it's not just Mortal Kombat. You know, Injustice also a really good franchise. You know, a lot of people love the Arkham franchise. And I'm interested in seeing this Harry Potter game, you know, because I like the Harry Potter games. You know, the first three particularly I really liked. But... I would like to see this new Harry Potter game and it would really suck if it turns out to be really awesome and then it's an Xbox exclusive. You know, at least if EA, Activision, or Blizzard were to purchase, you know, WB, Inter WB Interactive, at least then it's still third party. So everybody who has always played Mortal Kombat on whatever platform can still play it and it does become some unfortunate thing for Sony players or Nintendo players, you know, if you play on those consoles you should still be able to play Mortal Kombat. So I'm really hoping that this news does not come to fruition and that we can still enjoy Mortal Kombat on multi-platforms. Fingers crossed that this doesn't happen. I know I've seen some videos of people who, you know, talked about this uh, when it first came out about AT&T selling WB and they thought that, you know, Microsoft would be a pretty good option, but I don't. I think that would be awful because... I mean, it cuts out a huge chunk of the fan base, you know, essentially two-thirds of the fan base because Sony is a huge, you know, portion of people who play Mortal Kombat. In fact, I would say there's more people that play Mortal Kombat on PlayStation than there are Xbox. Not by a lot, but I think there probably are. And then Nintendo, that's still a substantial amount of people who play it, not quite as much as Xbox and PlayStation, but still... You got a good amount of people on Nintendo playing uh, Mortal Kombat. So I just think it's going to be really unfortunate if that news actually comes true because there's so many good franchises that you know WB Interactive is a part of. And to see it all just become exclusively to Xbox 
would be unfortunate. And I don't even want them to become exclusives to Sony or Nintendo. You know, even though I play on that, I don't want it to become an exclusive on those either because they've always been third party. So everybody should be able to enjoy those games like they always have been. It'd be, it'd be just as unfortunate if it became an exclusive on PlayStation or an exclusive on Nintendo because it's still singling out two groups of people who have always enjoyed those games. So that's just my thoughts and I kind of wanted to make a video on it after seeing that because the other companies were kind of like whatever, you know, I mean, Blizzard, Interactive, EA, you know, if they bought that, you know, yeah, there could be some issues with it. You know, EA's been known for, you know, DLC abuse and things like that. So that could potentially be bad, but at the same time, at least it would still be on every platform. Whereas with Microsoft, it's just on Microsoft's Xbox. And so that would just really suck. And I personally still have kind of a bad taste from the Rare days when Microsoft purchased Rare and basically murdered Banjo-Kazooie. So I'm still a little bitter about that and Conquer and Perfect Dark and, you know, pretty much all the amazing Rare titles from the 90s and early 2000s. So still a little bitter about that also, but I just want to make this video and talk about it. Hopefully that doesn't come true. Hopefully a third party company gets hold of it and they stay, you know, third party and on multiple platforms. That's my, you know, that's just my thoughts on it. I want to go ahead and end this video here and I'll see you all in the next one. See you then.